Gear Room. Are you? Are you? Are you? Neil's Gear Room. Yes, welcome to another episode of Neil's Gear Room. Well, as you can see, this is the English edition, and I'm overdubbing my own video, which I record in Japanese. And you may also have noticed that I am in a new room. This is not the room that I have been recording these Neil's Gear Room episodes in. That room was on the first floor. I have now been officially moved up to the second floor. Yes, that's right. I got kicked out of my own gear room. Sort of. This is actually the second floor where my studio is and all my gear is. So from now on, this is where the Neil's gear room will be filmed and recorded. All right, it's getting warm in here. So I took off my jacket. As you can see, I've got this little new apparatus on. It's like a rubber band. It's supposed to fix your posture. It's kind of popular thing here in Japan. I just bought this at my favorite Yodobashi camera. I'm going to take it off now. I, it works pretty good, actually. I'm kind of liking it. And I have a real slouching problem. My neck goes forward. It's not a good thing. So I'm trying to fix it. But that's not what we're here for today. We are here for this box, which has arrived from Amazon Basics. Made in China. Amazon Basics. They got a lot of stuff. I'm a Prime member. We order a lot of stuff from Amazon. You know, that's just the way it is these days. And I was looking in there and I noticed they have some really cool products that are kind of basically ripoffs of really high-end expensive products that they make cheap and sell very cheap. And I noticed they had a backpack. It was like a real outdoor kind of camping, you know, uh, trekking kind of backpack. It was 65 liters. They also had a 75 liter one and it was very cheap. And I just thought randomly, I had really had no need for a new backpack, but I thought, hey, Neil's Gear Room episode in the making here. This is going to be good. So I ordered a Amazon Basics 65 liter outdoor backpack and I'm going to check it out today and tell you what I think about it. Boom! There it is, out of the box. Woo, watch out, almost dropped the scissors on my feet. Got to be careful here. Get a little too excited during the recording of these Neil's Gear Room episodes. Uh, okay, here it is, the backpack. Taking it out of the bag. First impression, I think, is always the most important thing when you see a new product. What does it feel like? What does it smell like? You know, kind of clip the buckles, touch the straps. Um... It's nice. It's The color's nice. The material feels nice. The uh, waist uh, straps there were kind of cushy. I see you can adjust the sizes so it can fit various you know body sizes. The material, um, well, okay, for this one, they had a green and a black. I ordered the black. I thought, you know, let's just be cool and go all black. Although I thought the green looked pretty cool too. And there it is. The Amazon Basics logo, which is kind of like, I've never ordered anything from Amazon Basics before, so this is kind of a new thing for me. Just to see that logo on like a real kind of outdoor kind of large backpack was kind of new. It was kind of weird. So looking at the material, it does feel like it's a little lower grade, kind of cheaper material. You know, I'm used to using North Face products. Uh, you know, more high-end outdoor brand products over the last few years. And there's a certain touch to the material, you know, when it's, you know, it's kind of more of a high-end expensive material. This didn't quite feel that way, but it didn't feel super, super cheap either. By the way, the price for this here in Japan was 5,381 yen. This is ridiculously cheap. So that's what made me just click and buy it because I thought, hey, you know, it's only 50 bucks. I'll review it. I'll let you guys know how it is. And at the end of the program, I'm actually going to sell the bag. I've decided to start doing this. Um, not everything. You know, if I buy something for myself, I'm not going to sell it. But I might just start getting certain products just to kind of check them out and review them and then sell them at the end of the program. So if you want it, leave a comment. Let me know how much you'd be willing to pay for it. And uh, it might be yours. It's kind of a good idea, right? Okay, lots of pockets. You got accessory pockets on the top, on the sides, on the front. There's these straps on the very top that are obviously for a sleeping bag or a back, uh, a tent to put on there, rolled up. The accessory pockets are, are large. They're 
You know, again, the zippers and the flaps are a little bit, they're not that well thought out, obviously. You know, that's the difference between something that's 50 bucks and something that's like $500. You know, they just kind of slap it together in a basic way. So, but that doesn't mean it's not usable. You know, I think for an entry level person or a young person who's like, hey, I want to go camping, but you know, I don't have $300 to spend on a backpack. Boom, this is it. Look, it comes with a rain cover. It comes with a rain cover in the bottom of the bag. Doesn't say Amazon Basics on it, no logo or anything, just a basic rain cover. It works, right? So you got that, you got plenty of storage. And you know, so what if it breaks after like one season? If the zipper breaks or you know, the waterproof mist starts to wear off, just throw it away, man. You know, if you're concerned about the environment, give it to a friend who is even lower down the ladder than you are. You know what I mean? If you can afford the 50 bucks, you've probably got a friend who can afford the 50 bucks. So you can just pass it on. Buckles and zippers, a little bit of a close up look. Again, you know, they're fine. They're good. There's some chunky zippers. Um, you know, the little tiny little details obviously are gonna be different from a more expensive backpack. Now I put this on, I'm 185 centimeters tall and it was actually set up in the largest position but it felt like it was a little small for me. Like I had to loosen the shoulder straps to let the bag settle down so that I could cinch it up really on my hips. You don't want a backpack riding high, especially when it's a 65 liter backpack with a lot of gear in there. It's gonna be quite heavy. Uh, you want it to ride on your waist and really carry the load with that waist strap and not with the shoulder straps. That is the key to heavy backpacks. And I can tell you a lot about it because I'm a cameraman and I've been carrying a heavy load for the last 30 years. So I think it's a really good size. This is a, like a medium large bag. Uh, someone about 175 centimeters would be perfect for this. But you know, it's, it's riding on my hips there. It's, it's just making it, you know? It could have been a little bigger, but it's doable. And remember, it's only 50 bucks. So for the purpose of this, I stuffed some blankets and pillows in the bag to make it kind of look full, but it's obviously not heavy. So I can't really tell you what it's like when you got a full 65 liter load or more in there. The waist straps, they pull to the outside but really high-end expensive bags, they have a different buckle system that you, you pull to the inside and those cinch up much tighter. It's easier to pull them inside than to pull them to the outside. That's one thing I noticed. Uh, these little straps, like the chest strap, this is the, my test is the noise. Like when you pull that and you hear the noise of the strap going through the buckle, cheaper materials make a louder noise and more expensive materials, uh, they're quiet. This, this strap was a little bit loud. So I think a couple of years of use, and if you, you're pulling on those straps a lot, they'll start to wear out or break. But, you know, it's not going to be in one season. I mean, how often do you use a backpack? Okay, here I am kind of doing my little routine of impressions of kind of people who are not really outdoorsy people, but pretend that they are outdoorsy people. It's a little Japanese impressions there. Um... In no way am I insulting or making fun of Amazon Basics. I think the stuff is cool, good, and they're trying to do something that not many other brands really have the ability to do. And they have such an advantage. They know what sells. You know what I mean? Amazon. They know everything. They know what we're buying. They know what we're looking at. They know what we're clicking on. They know the price point. They know everything. So all they got to do is go to the factory and go, yo, make that backpack at a quarter of the price. Boom, big seller. Obviously, you know, if people are really into brands and you want the logo, you want the look, and you want to get out there and you want other people to be like, yo, I see Mr. Smith is using that North Face backpack. He's really cool. Well, you're obviously not going to buy Amazon basic stuff. But if you just want to get out there and you just want to get into the action, and you need something to help you get there. Boom! 5,381 yen, free delivery, Prime members in Japan. 
I don't know what this sells for in the US or Europe or anywhere else, or if it is even available. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, or they'll have something similar. Boy, they got a lot of stuff on Amazon Basics. Have you gone in there and looked? Yeah, it was a whole new thing for me. So, I mean, everything you could think of, they've got it in a cheaper price point. Definitely something to look at. Um, again, I think the backpack looks pretty decent on me there, you know, the black. I mean, you could walk out to a campsite or a trekking trail somewhere. Oh, oh, by the way, this is where I'm talking about selling the bag. So if you really are interested and you would like this particular bag, leave me a comment, leave me the price you would be willing to pay. Um, if you buy it from me, I will throw something in. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe a little puppet or, you know, a free DVD or there will be some little bonus thrown in the backpack and I will send it to you. Um, now I'm taking a look at two of my other backpacks that I had laying around. This is a North Face bag. Uh, it's probably about 10 years old, but you can see the difference in the material. And, you know, it's, it's, about, it's actually probably heavier than the Amazon Basic backpack, uh, but the material does feel, you know, higher in quality. But obviously the price, it's way up there. This is a Marmot bag that I got at like some family sale years ago. I think it was like 150 bucks. It was less than half price. It was like way marked down. So it was like 150 bucks. So it's still expensive. I think the original price was over 300. This is actually, I think an 80 liter bag. So it's a little bigger, but you got like mesh webbing, um, all these little fancy, you know, straps. Yeah, okay, okay, there's a big difference. But, hey, you could spend that money on something else. You know what I'm saying? Get out there, buy some other equipment, get an Amazon basic backpack, go camping, go trekking, get out there where you don't have to wear a mask. Amazon basics! Thanks for watching. Meals, gear, room. English edition. We'll be back in another episode soon. See you guys.